We're here with Calvary women's head coach Dan Weiler. After a pretty successful start to the season, you went out to up to Duluth, uh, came back with a win and a tie. You beat uh, UW Whitewater, who at that time was nationally ranked, and then you fought hard in a game on Sunday and ended up tying Saint Scholastica. Uh, but a good start nonetheless for you guys. What did you guys do well uh, this pe first week, and what were you happy with for that those first two games? Well, I mean, starting from the first game, and we were really happy with the speed of play. The intensity we thought was really high. I felt like our fitness levels were, were great for this time of year, so the game itself was at a high pace. Uh, there was lots of physical battles, of course. It was kind of one of those games. Um, and, you know, we, we got a goal in each, in each half, so, I mean, the, the game itself was a really tough battle. Whitewater gave us a good show. Um, and, you know, we were really happy to take advantage of the scoring chances that we had. Sarah had a great game. Uh, we had some, some great minutes from Annie Marhula, who came in and played great in the back. Um, so, you know, kind of a newcomer to the starting lineup. And she stepped into some big shoes and did a great job. Um, you know, and then for the second game, it was kind of a typical game with St. Scholastica. You know, they, they come out even harder each year. They really, really get fired up. Dave does a great job getting them ready for us. Um, Typically, they sit back a little bit. This year, they came after us, which we somewhat anticipated because we did see them play the game before. Um, and very uh, serendipitous for them, they got, a game, they got a goal in the seventh minute, and that put us on our heels. We weren't really you know, expecting an early goal from them, uh, but certainly a good you know, a set piece, which we were anticipating them to be dangerous on. And then it took us about 10 to 20 minutes to settle in. I thought after we did that, we had a couple scoring chances in the first half that we, quite frankly, probably should have scored on. Got into the second half, got another nice goal from Sarah Rounds, and just couldn't find the second goal. Um, it was a, another physical battle. There was a lot of, of blood and shed, and shed on, the, on the field, it seemed like, but, um, but a, great, a great test for us. I mean, certainly we want to win both games, but, but it really gave us a, a chance to see, for our newcomers, a chance to see a team how excited teams get to play us and how fired up they get and so on. They talk a little bit about Sarah Rounds. She scored her 100th career point. She had two of your three, you know, two of the three goals. She assists on the other one. She was named the tournament MVP. Will go down as one of the best players to ever play. What are the characteristics characteristics that separate her from you know other players, not only in the you know, on the team but in the league and around the region? Yeah, I think I mean she's a real testament to what we believe our best players should do, and that is is not only our best players are our most skilled players, but certainly our best players we require them and demand them to work hard, and to be one of the hardest, if not the hardest working player in the field. And people that see her, they, that really is a pretty big reflection of the kind of commitment she has to her development and to the team because she's tireless. She'll work for every, every ball and has become more and more vocal through her, through her time and through her career. So her leadership values have really grown. Um, besides that, as a player, she's just really tricky. You know, she can get out of virtually any situation, either direction. She can score with either foot. She has good range. She has enough pace. Um, she's just really dangerous every time she touches it. And that, that showed because she, she didn't get a lot of chances, but the ones she did, she either created herself or was played into a position where she had to make quick decisions to get shots off. You have to be comfortable with her playing anywhere in the field because she also popped on the, up on the back line at a point in time on the weekend. She plays in the midfield. What are the, the things that make her so versatile? Yeah, I think, I mean, like I said, uh, the, probably the only position she wouldn't play for us is in goal. But, you know, she, she has, um, as a younger player, played center back. So we had a blood fall um, that pulled one of my center backs out. So she was a, a good option for us to stick back there for two, three minutes. And she actually really likes playing back there. Not as much as she likes playing up top. But um, she's just really versatile in the sense that she, she can defend she can attack and she can get herself out of out of positions, and she's athletic enough to be really be in any position. Now let's look ahead to this weekend. You'll play another Wisconsin school in River Falls, but then also Wartburg, a quality opponent who uh, has posted a good result over St. Thomas in the early season. Mm -hmm. What is does there anything be anything different in the opponents you face from last weekend to this weekend? Um, in some respects, I think you know from our reports from both. Um, from Wartburg and um, from River Falls, uh, we're expecting two teams to show up and play. Uh, we've 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 faced these opponents, you know, several times through the through the years. We didn't see River Falls last year, so they'll be a little bit new to us. But we've got a good report on both teams. Um, 
we're expecting our system not really change a whole lot. Um, so we'll we'll just see how we match up, and then if we need to make adjustments, we will. Certainly, Warburg um, has has gotten some big results, and we're expecting them. They return. They they lose a couple really key players, but they also return a big core. So we're expecting you know to another set of games that are going to be really competitive. And then finally, you know, you guys have always done really well at home. Uh, you know, on the on the Jake Christian Christensen Athletic Complex field. What makes it so difficult for not only teams to come and play, but what do you guys do so well that makes it so successful for your teams in the past three, four, five years to post such a great record at on the home field? Well, I think I think just being at home is such a big thing. I mean, it's it's more comfortable. We they, they sleep in their own bed. I mean, it's such a it's just being at home and the fan base that we have and the support that we have here is really a comfort to them. The other part is that historically we've done really well at home. So the girls all know that. They know that, that our home field is a very special place to us and that it's, um, it's, a, it's a place that they know so well. So I think just the comfort for, for our team is such a big factor. Um, on top of that, you know, certainly we can do set pieces and those kind of things. We can, we can, based on the size of the field, we can do those kind of repetitious things prior to games. And I mean, but basically bottom line is we've, we've done really well at home because of probably the comfort factor. Good luck. Hopefully this success will continue. Thank you.